voice diary on September 13. Safety and skills in the process of surfing. Safety and skills are two important parts in surfing. The more you try to level up skills and the more you should care about safety. So and each process of surfing need uh, safety and skills. First, we should know about the process of surfing. The surfing is a circulation of activities. In terms of surfing activities, we do paddle out to the surf, and then and we go to paddle out and then we reach to the lineup. And then we are moving um, with the to, toward the peak side and then turning and to catch the wave. So and paddling out is one step. And then moving, turning, picking, binding wave is two step. And then at least at last uh, we are doing takeoff. Doing takeoff is, uh, and then the get involved in the waves are seriously uh, important, the posture and part. And in the end, uh, surfing, going surfing, and then with uh, many skills. And then uh, the end of surfing is landing, surfing to the land. The after landing, Normally we paddling out again. So in the paddling out and changing direction, taking off, surfing, these uh, four processes, four steps are basically in surfing. So we should know, we should know about the four processes and then uh, each uh, process we try to do improve our skills as a beginner, intermediate, and then high level circles with each uh, waves. And the waves are different uh, at the each spot. So, and then what you do is very important. So, and then uh, we can about watch about them. It's also the same as a way, and then with a long board or short board, it depends on the, what board you take and then use it uh, in those parts in the waves. And then you, it's a, all you, your right choose, right spot, right wave for your speed in terms of the safety. Now we are talking about to each level of safety. And then the paddling out is uh, many skills. If you think about your beginners, the water is very calm. Only small waves comes and then paddling out is very easy. Just paddling is all, or you reach to the uh, where you are, just the fence from practice. The small waves even, it's hardly catch up the waves to serve because uh, waves has no power. So and um, basically, when we do paddling out, when we do surfing, we uh, choose uh, little big waves, little big waves, uh, and then little bit. Uh, we have some uh, important parts. But some important part is uh, how we go up, how we go up to the reach to the lineup, and then. And, uh, we needed to know about uh, reaching to the lineup, and then uh, the lineup is uh, <clears throat> sometimes it's very far when the wave is big. That means, and then the supports should get uh, enough strength to the reach. So basically, being a surfer, and then 
uh, should know about uh, lots of exercise, uh, physically and then morally strong. So, and then basically, and the paddle out, paddling, uh, need you some swimming skills. Paddle out, paddling, need to swimming skill and then physical uh, strength to, when the wave is big and liner um, and then also get used to the waves. It, it, it's just very important. Paddle out is uh, almost uh, is a level of important things. And then if you are not enough to paddle out your ability, and then you try to paddle out, it's much more dangerous because uh, the the other part is also a uh, danger of wipe out or some you are uh, in the between in the waves and with the boat and then all the control is not easy in the big waves so and then as a beginners as a uh, surfers who try to level up and improve your surfing skills you should uh, practice uh, every day, each day, and then uh, about uh, in terms of uh, to surf. If you have a uh, surf school, surf lesson, also you should know about um, each student uh, and then uh, physical ability, the awareness of waves, uh, sea waters, and then the group of the skills is very important. If you have a program um, for them, and then uh, you should know about the program, then you can uh, check out and then reaching the preview, uh, the physical and yoga and something you do is also good, uh, uh, good benefits. So, and then the program, uh, if you have a new program, you try to do that and then you go for uh, this and then physically and then uh, you can try to make some good uh, something program uh, about this uh, uh, program. And then and you can make a good program and then you can uh, make others make others doing that program. Uh, each session has a all good some thing and then new. And about the safety rules and then uh, this is important. Previous uh, uh, activity and then doing activity and also going to the feedback and then annually you do or next time you do so and the surfing is uh, almost uh, like a hobby to attend uh, when the wave is good and then we try to do surfing where we live or we travel to the good surfing spot then and we are trying to do surfing as a hobby as a sport so, and this is not one time. So, and then good, provide a good surfing program is very important. So, and then uh, uh, it's, uh, it's talking about what is the good, what is the good, what is the good uh, surfing program. And then making surfing, good surfing program is also a good benefit of this. And then and what we can do and then, uh, making good surfing program, and then uh, this is a good way to do it. Okay, then um, AI, how can we make a good surfing program? AI, how can we make a good surfing program? Uh, AI, how can we make a good surfing program for young students? AI, how can we make a good surfing program for young Students, AI, how can we make good surfing program for young students? Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I talk about uh, safety and skill in the process of surfing. So I uh, do go for that. 
and then uh, checking out the each process about oh I talk too much yeah I talk too much I talk too much let me check The <clears throat> surfing safety and skill both started on September 13th. Surfing involves both safety and skill, two crucial aspects of the sport. As you strive to improve your surfing skills, you should also be mindful of the safety measures that go hand in hand with each phase of surfing. Let's break down the process involved in surfing and how safety and skill development play a role in these stages. The process of surfing. And surfing is a series of activities each requires a specific skill and attention to safety. Paddling out. This is the first step. Paddling out means moving from the shore to the lineup where you wait for the waves. Paddling technique and the stamina are key here. 
and you should always be aware of the wave condition to avoid getting caught in large unexpected waves. If you are a beginner, start in calmer waters to get the hang of paddling, reaching the lineup. Once you've paddled out, you arrive at the lineup, the area where suffers with four waves. The distance to the lineup can vary. Depending on the wave size, bigger waves mean the lineup is farther out, requiring more strength and swimming ability. It's important to maintain awareness of other surfaces and the waves to avoid dangerous situations like to wipe out or collisions. Catching the wave. When you spot a wave you want to ride, you turn your boat toward the shore, paddle hard, and then catch the wave. Timing and positioning are crucial. You must also assess the size and power of the wave, especially if you are just starting out. Understanding when you when and how to catch a wave safely is key to improve your skills. Take off. Once you are on the wave, you need to pop up from a paddling position to a standing position. This part requires the balance. Balance, core strength, and the kick reflexes. Uh, the posture you maintain here is important for both control and safety. As an improper technique, can lead to falls or survival. Riding the wave, after taking off, you engage in the core activity of surfing. Riding the wave, maneuvering on the wave requires practice and skill. Whether you are using a longboard or a shuffleboard, each type of the board responds differently to the wave, and adjusting your technique accordingly is essential. Running. Once the wave and you finish your ride by either paddling back out or heading to shore, this is where your awareness of your surroundings is crucial for avoiding tourism or getting caught by other ways while you are still on the boat. Importance of safety and skill development. Each phase of surfing requires a balance of safety awareness and skill improvement as you progress from beginner to intermediate or advanced level is vital to constantly practice and refine your skills in paddling. Wave leading and takeoff techniques for beginners is essential to practice in small wave and focus on the uh, basic, such as the purpose of paddling and the balance. And safety here means learning about wave patterns. Understanding soft etiquette and then ensuring you are not paddling out beyond your skill level. Creating a good surfing program for young students. To develop a surfing program for young students, consider focusing on the following areas. Fundamental. <clears throat> and then teach it. Basic techniques like the paddling, the balancing <clears> on <throat> the board, and the catching small waves. Make sure students understand the safety precautions, such as how to avoid collision, manage wipeouts, and respect other surfaces in the water. Uh, progressive skills development start with easier skills and build up gradually. For example, begin with the paddling and wave leading, then move on to take off and turn off. Offer exercises to practice popping up on land before trying it in the water. A safety awareness. Uh, ensure that students learn about lip current, safe and entry and exist from the water, and basic surf etiquette. Encourage them to always surf in supervised areas, especially while they are still learning. Physical conditioning. And surfing requires stamina, strength, and flexibility. Incorporate exercise like swimming, yoga, and strength training to the program to help students build uh, the necessary physical foundation for surfing. Incorporating fun. For young students, the element of fun is crucial. Keep lessons engaging with the games and activities that reinforce skills in a playful way. For example, you could have balance competition online or practice uh, catching foam waves. Feedback and progression. Offer feedback after each session to help the students understand what they are doing well and uh, where they need improvement. Encourage them to set goals and track their progress. How can AI have create a good surfing program for young students? 
AI can assist in the designing a certain program by analyzing data about the wave condition or in student performance. For example, it can suggest optimal day and location for surfing lessons based on real time or and uh, wave data. The experience uh, improvement through wearable tech that monitors balance, battery strength, and uh, speed and provide personalized feedback and bridge tailor to each student's progress level. By following these steps, you can create a safe, fun, and effective solution program for young students that help them to build both skills and confidence in the workshop. Jump to Tengbit, Benamis, Anton Bakinang, Luson, Luson, Nyake Gong, Nai Momuis, Tangin. Lúc sông đôi khổ ta hạ hay yêu yêu cầu quan trọng là an thủ và cái nào đi văn đô độ cái tiền kỹ năng lúc sông của mình bạn là cũng nên chú ý đến các biện pháp an thủ cho thủ gia thủ thủ quá trình quá trình lúc sông dối đại là các vũ vũ Vốt trồng lúc sống và các an toàn và kỹ năng phát triển ở một giai đoạn quá trình lúc sống. Lúc sống là một chuỗi các khóa tổng, một khóa tổng đối hồ kỹ năng cụ thể và chú ý đến an toàn. Kéo giá viện, 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 kéo giá viện. Đây là vụt đau trẻ mà đi bán kêu chư cổ ra đến là vùng sông chỗ chỗ vùng sông chỗ nói bán xe nội sông đi thuốc kêu ba xuất bên là yếu tố nên chút ổ đại à và bán bài luôn luôn chú ý đến chú trên sông để thân những cổ sông luôn bắt nổ nếu bạn là nhồi môi và tạo, hai bắt tạo luôn thấp ở vùng nước yên thiên hoàn, đặt tên lại nóc. Sau khi kêu ra biển, bằng đêm từ vùng lại nóc, nơi khắc tài lúc sông, cho sông ở hồng khắc tên lại nóc có thể tài, đổi tươi theo kích sốt sông, sông lôn, hồn cổ nha là lại nóc ở xa hồn. Yêu cao như sức mạnh và khả năng bồi thổi. Điều quan trọng là phải chú ý đến những nỗi lục sông các và sông để tăng trình trong nguy hạn. Bát sông, bát sông, bát sông, bát sông à, khi bán nhìn tay một con sông mà bán mô bắt, bán quầy văn để phía vô. Bà kêu mâm đê bắt kí sông, tôi dọn. Bà vị trí là chất quan trọng, bàn phương bài dân tan giả kích thứ và sức mạnh của sông, đặc biệt là khi bàn môi bắt tạm. Lên sông, lên sông, sông, bắt sông, lên sông, bắt sông. Bắt sống, nâng sống. Sau khi bắt đức sống, bạn cần tu tu ở trên năm kêu, kêu, chuyện sang vương, lên vương ngay đối hồi sư khăn bằng, sức mạnh, cố vắc và phân xa nhận, tư thể, Bạn vũ trí ở đây chắc quan trọng cho việc điều khiển và an toàn lỗ sông. Sau khi lên sông, bạn thực hiện hoạt động chính của lỗ sông, lỗ chân sông, kỹ năng điều khiển chân sông, bạn đức dành duyên, dù bạn sử dụng, bạn giải hệ, bạn ngạc, mỗi lỗi bạn phản ứng các nhau với, Sông 
ฮากันอีซงเกตึกบันฮวทัดจูเอมโซงกวามินบังคักเกลไลจาโงยฮกโจเบโวโอไดเบกวันซัดซูงปันลาจัดปันซงเดตันบาตามโฮบีซงคัก
chun cheo keo wok nai wan to the thao yong cha mo chung chin a ro song an chun tu bi ba kyu kwa zo hok sin che ju tak em chai jun ka ti na ba su tu chin ki o chong nuk dong 